What is up, YouTube? Back at it again. We got another episode of tabletop storytelling for you guys, and this time we have a good one. We have the Grizzled Guppy Tavern in store for you guys. And last time, if you didn't watch, you should probably go watch it. But I'll give you a rundown. We, you know, crashed an airship into the city, and we went into a building. We had a tussle on a train, and now we're in District Nine. I hope you guys like the video. I'll see you guys at the end. The first round is on me at the Grizzled Guppy. Uh, I need a drink after a fight as disappointing as that one. The half-elf, the guard, and Ragnar all go to the Grizzled Guppy. Upon reaching the entrance to the Grizzled Guppy, a small halfling kicks out of the swinging doors. He appears very drunk and trying to reach his sidearm right hip with his left hand, causing him to constantly spin in circles. Get in my hand, you yellow-bellied Vig Twigler! Oi! My half pint with a full pint in him. Why don't you leave that on your hip and show me to the innkeeper? I'm in need of a cleanse because I've made more enemies than I care to admit thanks to my pungent aura. Unless my aura furthers your need to reach your peace. In that case, let me limber up. I show you. You follow me. Papadap diddle is the name. The halfling walks towards the door, and almost as if repelled by Magnus, starts stumbling in reverse, eventually just falling to the ground. Ragnar helps the drunk halfling off the ground and sits him against the wall. All right, Papadap. Thanks for your help. Inside the tavern, it is bustling with activity. A band of Warforged are on stage called Heavy Metal, playing music unlike anything our adventurers have heard on instruments we've never seen. The food smells wonderful, from stews, venison, rabbit, even salad for the druidic vice. A large boar is roasting over a spit in the middle of the large seating area. Behind the bar, a high elf wizard is serving drinks faster than the eye can see. Oi! Bartender! Where can a dung heap find a place to clean off? Hold still, friend. This one is on me. The high elf casts prestidigation on the dwarf to remove its filth. A real bath can be had upstairs. Talk to the hostess if you're still inclined. Well, my low bar of cleanliness has been met thanks to your ethereal hospitality. So if you see my company fit for the public good, I'll hang around. A bit low on coin myself. If you got work needing done, or know of someone that does. The dishwasher is running late. I can probably trade you a plate of food and a beer for your labor. Aye. And it'll be just like when I was a dwarfling. Except without my mom throwing my clogs at me for leaving them in the wrong spot. As for real work, check the board near the door. People always post for odd job and help wanted. The Adventurers Guild is down the street. And I've heard there may be other guilds too, if you have the right connections. Aye, I appreciate the guidance, Elzard. Hands thoroughly pruned and grasping at his beard, Ragnar finds an enchanted bulletin board. Cogs whirring and spinning, multiple ads scroll by. Wanted. Crab killer. I need six crabs killed at the local beach. Bring me their crab claws as proof. Posted by the Mad Dad. Wanted. Missing inmates. Please contact Captain Gino. Wanted. Fighters for the pickled pit. Much in need of new fighters for our underwater battles. How long can you hold your breath while hacking and slashing? Find out now. Thousand gold to the victor. Seek out Carp Face Bob, leader of the Sanguine Nation. Help, my child has fallen ill. The local clerics can't cure my son. Please, you must help. Clara Densday. Ragnar's eyes search the board up and down and lands on one of the ads. A smile grows on his face and he looks over his shoulder to the bar. Oi, Elzard. Where's the beach from here? Got a date over shellfish. You know. I don't actually, though. Haven't ever really left the city. 
Oh, you mean the beach. You aren't planning to go down there alone, with only your fists and the shirt on your back, are you? It's all I got. Lost my proper protection in an accident before arriving here. This is my chosen path back to the light. Crab brawling. Wait, why do you ask, Elzard? Because I've seen many a drunk go down there alone, only to come back empty-handed and pinched within an inch of their life. And I am weary of bartending. I could spot you some coin for some basic gear in exchange for letting me tag along on your quest for crabs. Mm. You would out me in such a way. Ragnaros guide me. I'll accept this motion, and I must say I hope you ain't allergic to shellfish. Lost a cousin back home to that nasty business blimping up and dying like that. I've not had a compere in a time. A welcome change of pace. The guard calls over the bartender, puts down payment for two drinks. An ale for me, and if it fancies the dwarf, one for him as well. Now, dwarf, before you go running off, I have a few questions for you, if you've got the time. Well, if there's ale to drink, I have an ear to bend. The floor is yours, hero. Now, I'm only interested in two things. Coin and fight. I was hired to keep you locked up and transport you. But seeing as you escaped and I've been paid, I consider the job done. What were you locked up for in the first place? I, I hope they paid in heavy bags the way we were running and making a mess of things. They locked me up for a little bit of this and that. Stole from those that ought not be stolen from. Sent to this bright-eyed, bustling bumblement to rectify. Rectify what, you ask? As if I know. I'm just stuck here. Instead of there, as far as I'm concerned. The dwarf twigs his ale aggressively. Mmm. The guard twigs his ale more aggressively. And what did we steal? Holy relic. Long gone now. A conduit for more ale to me, and now where I have ye. Drinking more ale. Thus it was worth the trouble. The dwarf finishes the rest of his ale at one go. I'll buy the next round. Hey, Tender, you got anything to heal myself up? A local patron with an earshot, adorned in rough, war-torn plate armor, turns to the half elf. If it's healing you seek, you can offer up some coin at the Temple of Torm. The paladins there can help, though do not enter with wickedness in your heart. Stumbling in the front door, the halfling, whose name you're still, all still unsure of, begins yelling, Crabs! Crab! Crabs! Who's taking care of me, crabs? They bite, they snip, they making it difficult for the nishes and I to skinny dip. I am uh, fine. That'll be me. I have a detour to take into the smithy before I purge your beach of the snip snappers. That'll be we, my newly found dwarven companion. Now, let's go get you some gear. If you don't mind waiting till the end of my shift, that is. No bother at all. I could use a little more time off my feet, and a little more time to fill my gullet. Here! Picture of the beast in case you don't know what you're looking for. Fairly accurate to the ones I'm used to back home. Thanks for the reference, I'd hate to smash the good crabbies on accident. No good crabbies, only bada bad. Er, some of me drinking money. You need a good crab cracker. The halfling hands Ragnar a handful of coins. Thank you for the funds, half pint. I'm sure Steve will fix me with the crackinest cracker for crabs ever conceived. Back, Steve! These be crabs! Ask the cook in the back. Oi! Chef! I need a tool from your arsenal. Um, alright. What can do for you? You got something that's good for cracking and smashing crabbies? Aye. Both. I have.
have these crabbing tools. The chef hands over a sheller about the size of a small knife. Well, that simply won't do, my cuisine connoisseur. I need something that'll take crab and turn it to cake in one fell swoop. There's pay in it if you dig something up. Wait. Did Pappy put you up to this? Just go see Steve. You can keep the crab shelling. But I didn't think anyone was crazy enough to do anything for that side of the house. Aye, the half pint got's work needs doing, and I got gullet needs filling. I'll be off to Steve's when the ale zert is done serving up to this motley lot for the night. How about in the meantime, you throw together something tasty whilst I wait? All right, then. One dragon bone stew coming up. Watch yourself now, or dragon's breath be escaping you. Hey, dwarf, want some help with the crabs? Aye, the more the merrier. And that goes double time for heroes. Ah ho! That is if my newfound companion is all right with it. Ragnar raises an eyebrow to the wizard. Indeed I am. That's one more sword protecting my wizardly hide from the foul pincers of evil. I'm still considering Ragnar under my custody, as he was never delivered properly to his destination. And I find it funny. So if y'all don't mind, a dragonborn, I'm still looking for a satisfactory fight. Haven't had one all day. It seems we'll be moving an army against these vermin. They won't know what hit them. After much eating and drinking, the night rolls by. The sun has set, and the fire has died down. Happy walks up to the adventurers. All right, mates, are you good and liquored up, ready to fight? The crabs, they like their moon bathing. And if you guys did like that video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. If you want to know each and every time a video goes live, if you don't want those notifications, you can just follow me on Twitter where I do post each and every time a video goes live. And I will see you guys on the next one, which will probably be in a little while, not moving away from the daily uploads that I've done for about four days now, but I'll be back soon. See you guys. Peace.